Hello, my name is Ana Soldana and I'm an onboarding customer success manager here at Sprout Social. Today, we're going to talk about how to leverage your automated rules using ordered rules for managing your cases. Automated rules scan posts and messages in Sprout to detect certain parameters you set when creating your auto rule. Once you establish the criteria and enable your automated rules, your rules are automatically added to the unordered rule section. By creating automated rules for cases in Sprout, you can automatically update case attributes and perform a message action according to your needs. Creating automated rules saves your team's time and enables them to get the most important customer interactions first. So let's say you have been assigned a case and you action it appropriately, but you're not quite done. Maybe you're awaiting additional details from the client, such as an order number, so you change the status to on hold. Sometime later, the client reaches out again, so how do you know this case needs attention again? You can create a rule that automatically reopens cases that are in the on hold status when a new message is received for that case. This ensures your care agents can more effectively triage which cases need attention rather than manually combing through all their on hold cases. So let's assume that you've created this rule to streamline your care team's efforts. Let's now talk about an order versus order rules. When you create a new rule, it is automatically added to the unordered rule section. By design, Sprout runs all of the rules in this section when a message or review matches the criteria of two or more rules and all matching rules will be actioned. You also have the option for ordered rules, which are processed sequentially, and only the first matching rule is applied to a message, so they are processed in order that you set up. So if the message does not match the criteria of the first rule on the list, the engine will move on to the next rule and only process the first matching rule. This makes ordered rules very useful if you want a case prioritization hierarchy. Let me quickly show you how to set that up. You can go to the unordered rule section and find the rule that you want ordered. You will then click on the three dot overflow menu on the right hand side of the rule you want to order and then move it to the ordered rules. Once it's there, you can select to move that ordered rule. You can change that order. You can either toggle the arrows next to the rule number to move the rules up or down in the list or just type the desired number in the numerical input area next to that rule. If you update the numerical input, Sprout updates the rest of the rules to maintain the order. And that's it. Set it up and let Sprout handle the rest. I hope you found this helpful. And thanks so much for tuning in today. We'll see you next time. Bye.